peak of technological achievement, the whole world is in my palm, everything accessible, etc. On the other hand, specifically in those days when technology turned the world into a huge village, specifically in such world, uh, days, uh, era, re re Repeat or return uh, phenomena as if from medieval, I don't know, such barbaric uh, periods in humanity's development that they, they chopping people's heads. They threw last week uh, people from a roof, a building roof in, 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 the, in the city square because their sexual uh, habits weren't right. Uh, so two worlds colliding. These are two worlds. Those people who are in such actions, they aren't barbarian. The unbarbarian, it is all as a consequence of a lack of meaning in life. And see what happened to those people and those organizations joining uh, young European men and women from a developed country and s try to find how to enter those organizations. Because then they'll have a sensation they live for something, that there's something to live for. It is due to a lack of, of uh, purpose in life. And that too is due to a lack of purpose in life. Is the same phenomena that developing two uh, two different uh, ends? Yes. Besides, you should understand that this uh, sarcasm. How you call it? Um, what's within that that topic of a small village? You grew up in in a village. Yeah, in a moshav, a little in Hefer Valley, El Yeshiv village. Yet you had a desire to go out of there to the city, uh, out of the country and go abroad? Yeah, at some point, yes. Meaning we, as we are nowadays in a little village throughout the whole world, and I see, according to this screen, that the whole world is my palm, is in my palm. I see whatever I want to see. America, China, Japan, Singapore, and each and everything, whatever is happening in all, all people and news and each and everything and movies and everything I want. The whole world become a little village in my hand. I want to come out of it. Subconsciously, I feel that, yes, this is what I've got. But, but it's so small, like my palm. I have the same phenomenon as once I was born and grew up in my little village. And everything is familiar and everything known and everything is mine. But I want more. Well, why would you give a person that has such sensation uh, with respect to the whole world? So they're going to be terrorists. They do all kind of uh, loony things. They're searching what to live for. They need kind of a clear goal. Even if it's beyond life, all right, I'll die. But I, I'm alive for the time being, I'm alive. I am not empty. You see, it's, it's, um, these are very, very important things for the person. Hence, um, you see what happened with the new generation. That you also, even ordinary job you can provide them, the ordinary conditions uh, where you can uh, sustain a family, beget children, etc. Uh, even that you can provide. See how all the conditions connect together and you see that indeed they're miserable. I don't want to uh, give birth to k kids. What for? When I see my life meaningless, uh, 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 they will feel it even more. They will come to us and say, Daddy, uh, what did you um, do us for? What do we need this life for? I, I, I saw once uh, when when the kids asked uh, a woman in a village in Russia, I was young, but I remember. What do you mean young? I was a kid. I was um, seven, eight. I started going to school. And next to us lived a lady. And she had, I don't know, six, seven kids. And... Indeed, they lived very, very harsh. There was hardly anything to it. It was a period like in, in the 50s in, in Russia or something like that. And then I, I heard one kid telling her, Mom, why did you uh, uh, bring us? We, we, we constantly want to eat. So accordingly, the kids will come to their uh, dad and say, What did you do us for? We have nothing to do in this world. 
it was pleasant doing us okay but what we aren't pleasant uh, living here 